they're like, all oh, the things are trademarked. This is a dildo eater or something. And just naming the things funny yeah. shit. Oh! What? <laughs> Video games that would make awesome TV shows. So there was this TV show that was on recently. Uh, it was starring uh, one of the dudes from Walking Dead that played Shane. It's called Mob City. The coolest video game mob scenario that I would like to see as a TV show is The Darkness. I think this is a perfect opportunity for me to mention Mass Effect. Now Mass Effect, for those of you who may know, uh, almost became a movie or is still in talks to become a movie. And as much of a fan as I am, I say, nay nay, that would be a horrible idea. It should not be a movie, it should be a television show. I think the TV show I would most like to see, based on a video game, Sir Hammerlock's Safari Adventure Pandora Time Magic. I'm gonna have to go with Portal, but not the mute girl with the stilts, whatever she's walking on. We're gonna go with Atlas long and Peabody. <laughs> what, I mean, you call your whore boots whatever you want. I don't judge. So, The Darkness, you, you play as Jackie Estacado. He's this mobster dude, and he gets uh, taken over by this being, this ancient evil called The Darkness that gives him all these demon powers. And basically, he's a normal mobster. Hey, tough guy, you know, all that nonsense. But, uh, but now he's you just, you know, deal with it. Deal with it! Right now we have like, TV shows like Game of Thrones does a great job of having like this huge cast, all these different characters, different storylines, just all over the place. And, and, and that is exactly what Mass Effect needs. Now we're gonna stay away from Shepard, because you know what? Shepard, that, that, that's my, I'm Shepard. That's my experience. I don't, I don't want to watch someone else's Shepard story. It doesn't count. You're not Shepard. So Inky's not Shepard, I'm Shepard. It could be like, there could be an origin where, like, the very first episode is where he meets the Thresher that rips off his arms and makes him get prosthetic, uh, the prosthetic arm and whatever that he salutes with. And like, he could be like, every episode would end in disaster. Be like, all right, we're just gonna approach these wild skanks. Oh, they spotted us! And then they would like, rip him to pieces and stuff. Atlas and Peabody in New York. They've made it out of the rat race. They've escaped Gladys' tests. Now they're in the real world and nobody thinks anything the wiser. And they're stuck with their portal guns, living a human life. But they can't. They're not human. They're still robots. And they can't help but have their guns go off. But what's this? Oh no, Gladys is their landlord and it's really just another test. Now he's got these demon arms and he can like, Rap, like grab people like with a demon arm, he's shooting another guy and he rips the guy's spine out through his a-hole and then uses it to spear another guy against a wall, it's amazing. The universe in Mass Effect is so big and it's so deep, that's what she said. <laughs> so you have so much room to expand on different alien races, different relationships, different characters. Sure, maybe we can have crossover with some of the other known characters. The other characters could make drop-in appearances. They could be like, oh, Sir Hammerlock, I don't think you should go over by that rack hive. That would be like Roland or something trying to trying to warm him and be like, it's fine, I'm a professional. I've got my silly hat on and I'll just go over by this rack hive. And then he just gets ripped apart again. And then you'd finally see why he settled down into a life of quiet NPCdom and sending other people to confront the terrible horrors of Pandora. Let's work through a scenario. Oh, Atlas, it seems that Miranda won't let me join portals with her. Well, I've seen where you've been. I wouldn't want you in my portals either. It's got all of the drama of a normal mob thing, but then all of the awesomeness of anal spine removal and, and other, you know, demon superhero things. It's a whole mind It's an awesome show. It's got cool mob drama, cool superhero-y stuff. It'd be a great TV series. Uh, I hate to say HBO, but honestly, that's the best place for anything you want to be on TV because that's the only place that can actually realize it without, like, dumbing any of it down. Just the galaxy is so vast. You have so many different characters. You, we can have a lot of different storylines happen at the same time. Like, that is how you do Mass Effect. You need seasons upon seasons upon seasons of hours and hours and hours of content to be able to really just start to crack the surface that is the great Mass Effect universe. So I say, let's get it on HBO or something. This would be the perfect TV show for the good old fashioned sex to position. Anytime there's story happening, guess what? Someone's banging Liara or green alien boobs are all over the place. Is GLaDOS still a potato? GLaDOS is now her human form, Caroline. Ha 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 ha!
All right, now you gotta admit, you will watch every last single show that we mention. If you wanna see that stuff we don't like, check out gaming trends that really just need to stop. And also, maybe you wanna check out the Diablo on his game trailer. It's funny as hell.